There we go! <laughs> Hello! Here I am. I always forget to do that. For some reason it added another desktop source and I don't remember doing that, so I have to delete that. I have two desktops. Yes, hello, Nana. Eesh. Hello, Orville. Hello, Sunberry, who was first. This is for you. I feel like the audio is a little too loud. Let me turn that down. I freaking love Coconut Mall, though. It's almost. Yeah, Cat Jam. <laughs> He's so tiny in the corner. Um. It's almost the end of Pride Month, so I'm wearing a Pride shirt. Maybe I'll wear a Pride shirt tomorrow, too. So, only the finest finery from Target. Yeah, on this screen, he's tiny. And then, on the game screens, he takes up the whole screen. Because my face is important on this screen. My face, not so important when I'm playing games. So, which, those are the things you think about when you produce this stuff. So I was like, you'll be seeing my face all the time in the games, but the game's important so I'm smaller. In this screen, I'm the center of attention. Me and the chat. It's hard. I really should like, swap it so the chat's on the other side. I don't know. I think it's against the rules to start sketching tomorrow with Kirby Prompt, just to get a rough idea of what I want. I mean, sketching in a pad and paper, sure. I don't know if opening up a side document is what you want. I don't know. Um, yeah, there aren't really that rules, as far as I know. I know some people during Inktober had all their ideas ready. Anyway, how is Mothman? How is Orville? How is Sunberry? How is Nana? I just thought you were drawing a Kirby. They're doing like a 30 day challenge to draw Kirby. Tomorrow's the last one, isn't it? You're doing all right. Better than terrible. I was a little worried about you. Tomorrow's the last one. Yeah, I'm nervous. What are you gonna draw? Tomorrow Rosie gets fixed. Hell yeah. Man, I wish I was getting fixed. Yeah, this one's for Rosie. <laughs> I don't think sketches are against the rules, I know. Planning helps. Yeah! Like, when I did Na NaNoWriMo, I spent all of October planning. I don't do it anymore, but... I did it, like, six years in a row, and then I said, Okay, I'm retiring. I've written... That's, like, 300,000 words. I can't do that ever again. I am good from home. I'm good. Home from getting married, and I have time to work to recover from burnout. Yay! You look so beautiful in your dress. For, for, that, for those who haven't seen it, it's the same color as her as her name. That bright, bright blue. Very pretty. It's kind of like an ombre. Um, I'm glad that you had fun though, and it was not as bad as you thought it would be. Me keep it coming. Well, this is my favorite color. Green. I went to a dermatologist to get a mold tested, and afterwards I got this German spiced wine you're supposed to heat and drink. Well, that sounds good! I think I've only had one hot alcohol drink. I think it was... My ma- my, my uncle made it for me, and he called it a hot potty, and I have no clue what the fuck that is. I figured it'd be okay once I got there. Being there just setting up. Yeah! I'm that kind of person, though, where, like... I've put so much work into something that I don't enjoy it until I get there. Or I don't enjoy it when I finally get there, because I'm like, one, I could have done more. Two, I'm really fucking tired from all that work I just did. Like, even this own sh this stream right now, I put a lot of work into it. I got a couple bonus stuff. I got some bonus stuff for you guys that I'm going to show off in probably like five more minutes. Five minutes till announcement. Five minutes till announcement. Five minutes till announcement. <laughs> okay. I gotta hammer that home. Um, I spent like three days doing this thing. And then like all day figuring it out. And then I was just like, this is terrible. This is awful. I'm indecisive. I feel like the minute I show it off, I'm gonna be like, 
I'm not happy to be here. <laughs> and then I went to go boot up the game. You know, 7.30, like I always do. I announce and then I boot up the game. I didn't save my progress. Uh. So I had to furiously click. Let's go like this for like 10 straight minutes. And now my arm hurts. This song gets... This song is so dirty. I love it. <laughs> um, so I put a lot of work into it. So please, like, the Jeb Bush uh, video of him going, please clap. <laughs> like, when moments happen, I'm gonna be like, please clap. <gasps> Jilliford! Where'd you get that money? Girl! Thank you. I love you. My BFF Jill. Fortunately, I had a lot of team people parents, friends, and friends of parents who made T-I-S-N-F, uh, who made me not help at certain points so I could go enjoy it. That's nice. I'm so happy for you. And yeah, this song is a fucking banger. I wish Mead was more widely available. I want to try it so badly. There's there's a winery here in New York somewhere. There's not a fast forward in the game, no. Uh, there's a winery somewhere here in New York that ha has mead. Let me see. Uh, meadery in New York. Um, I guess that's... Yeah, New York State's first farm meadery. Five New York meaderies that should be on your radar. Top 10 best meat in New York, June 2022. Let's see. Is there... Uh, my friend gave to me their own homemade mead as a wedding present, and I was very pleased with the present. Aww. That's so nice. Um, let's see. There's Enlightenment Wines in Brooklyn. Salt Point Meadery in Hudson Valley. That's pretty close to where we are. Um, in Pleasant Valley. I don't know where the fuck that is. Mr. Mead in Carmel, New York. I don't know what that is. I've heard of Carmel. Jamie! There's no need to feel down, I said, Mothman. Lift that man off the ground, I said, Mothman. Because you're in a new town and there's kids to be abducted. <laughs> we got 810 Mead Works in Western New York. Jamie, we're looking at mead. We might be able to check out the salt point one. I'm gonna save this. Yeah! I hit the save button and the song started. Perfect. I'll see if I can pop on over to Hudson Valley for a little... little mead from Bulbacon, maybe. My best used to brew mead? Hell yeah! That's exciting. I'll get Mothman Cookie some, some mead. I promise. Um, how's Jamie? I love you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I, w I was like, mm, I'm not gonna break sobriety until my to my manager's wedding, but I'm not an alcoholic mead. I can ask. I can ask. This mead's really good. I've only had it once. I want to get those nice flavors without the icky woozy feeling. I don't like the woozy feel. Which, by the way, Orville, I found out where our Pizza Hut is, so when you come here, we can, we can have Bulbacon at Pizza Hut. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm, ah, uh, is that like a, uh, Tina Belcher? Or like, ah, like, you're in, you're not okay? Or like a, ah, uh, like you're unimpressed. If not, not not alcohol mead, if it means everyone gets to enjoy it. Yeah! Inclusivity! The parking lot at Pizza Hut will be lit as the kids say. Yeah, we'll just have like... Uh, we'll sit in the back of my... I'll sit in the back of my trunk with a keg. Have <laughs> a kegger at Pizza Hut. That sounds like Orville's good time. Unless they make Femboy Hooters by both. There is a Hooters on the same street, but it's not Femboy Hooters. We could call them a month in advance and be like, hey, can you get fem can you make an advertisement on Craigslist or something to hire femboys for an event? A 
keg of non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, it's like that scene in Clone High where they get the non-alcoholic beer. And 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 um Genghis Khan goes, I am 21. And then he she's like, Are you 21? She goes, No. Uh like I know that I'm done with Mike, but he wants to talk to me and shit is bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jamie. I appreciate you and I love you. And if you're feeling funky and need to take some time off, me and Nana are welcome to hang out with you. Wait, I want to know if you can make homemade non-alcohol food. We can find out together. Let's see. Homemade non-alcohol food. Hey, day of meat. Non-alcoholic recipe. Yeah, everybody hug Jamie, please. She needs a... It's water, honey, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, orange, and lemon. Stir until honey's dissolved. I hate that this is um, weightlosssources.co.uk because weight loss is a scam. But... There you go. We love you, Jamie. We love you. You are a wonderful person. You are so valued in this community. And you're one of those one of one of our most favorite people here. I love meeting you. I was very exhausted when I met you. So I deserve to meet you when we're both feeling good. Yeah, the song does go hard. It really gives the stadium vibe. Like, just listening to this song, I feel like I'm in the stadium. I'm in the stadium right now, hugging Jamie. And there's a crowd of people all around us. As I'm holding Jamie in my arms. And we up with this, because she's taller than me. She's... She's tall... ...to me. <laughs> hugging Jamie, and the crowd's going, Yeah! Pull some contact! Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Be like the Olympics hug- the Olympic hugging. I wish there was an Olympic hugging event. That'd be fucking funny. Yeah, please make Nana drink water. I'm gonna drink water too. Wholesome content! You know what else is wholesome? What? Her being the forgotten land? Yeah. Hydrating. Yes! You know what else is wholesome? I don't know if this is wholesome, but it's it's time. It's time for an announcement, everybody. I made a little video. I spent all day working on it, so. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> That's why I bought Doritos and Mountain Dew for us! 
<laughs> the most depressed people. <laughs> Thank you. I spent all day on that. All fucking day. <laughs> yeah, I bought. I was. I left home from work early. I was like, okay, Nana gets. To, Nana's staying late, and I get to get out early. I'm gonna. Just, I'm gonna use the whole day. So. I did some grocery shopping and bought a bag of Doritos and two bottles of Mountain Dew. One for Nana, and they were on lunch. I'm leaving work. I'm like, I got you a present, and I gave them a Baja Blast. And then... <laughs> and then, um, I came home, and then I storyboarded it. But, like, my storyboarding went backwards. I did, like... I have too much shit on my desk. Just some, like, shitty storyboarding, just, like... Gaming. Game on glasses. Controller grab chips. Chomp and drink. Scratch stomach. Leave a trail. More gaming. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. Then I was like, I'm gonna... Yeah, I storyboarded it. I don't have a tripod, so my ring light is on like a really, like a two foot long wire. So I was just like clamping it and then resting my pop socket in the hole, trying to get it on like the right position. And it probably took me like an hour and a half to two hours. But like, I was in costume, I wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Please tip me so that I can afford my grocery bill for this episode. In case you missed the date, here it is. Gamer edition of Chaos Kitchen. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll boost the audio before I post it on Twitter. But I needed to quiet it down because the I left the fan on so you can hear the fan noise. Um but four fun recipes, two desserts, one entree, and an easy to make beverage July 9th at 2 p.m. EST. So be there or be square. Yeah, it's been so long. I haven't done this since what February, Jan January, February. I think I was gonna do it in January, and then my pipes froze, and so then I scheduled it for two more weeks out, and then I got disappointed because my internet failed like right near the end when I was gonna eat the donuts I made, which were amazing, by the way. Barbecue donuts, chef's kiss. So then I was like discouraged and didn't have the energy to do another episode after that. I was like, man, shit just does not want me to do a Chaos Kitchen. Well, you know what? Who cares? Okay? Spectrum's gonna behave. It's hot outside, so the pipes ain't gonna freeze. It's my time to shine. So, yeah. I got some more Doritos in the living room. So, I'm excited! But thank you so much for appreciating gamers, the most depressed people. <laughs> I think my favorite shot is like the game on the glasses. But I was just like annoyed because I was like, I'm playing Fall Guys and any, what if someone thinks I'm a fake because I'm playing a, the scene that's reflected in my glasses is different from the scene where it's where the camera was here. Yeah. But like nobody cares. That's just me. But that's the shit I think of. So I can't wait for my to show this to my therapist in another two weeks. So I can be like, look what I made. I did this. I completed a project for once. Yes. So Hooray! Chaos Kitchen. Do we have any Nana can't say anything because Early 2010s YouTube view, review revives. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it feels almost as good as the November one. Whoa! Thank you? <laughs> I didn't change the... I didn't change the alerts from the mainstream. 15 doll hairs from a married woman. Gasp. Thank you, married woman, for the, for the 15 doll hairs. I appreciate you. Now I have enough to buy four bags of Doritos, or two bags of Doritos, 
And three bottles of Mountain Dew. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> I'll have to change the Kofi alert. The Warble doesn't care. He knows it doesn't care. Yay! I mean, just pretend we're in um, Arcade Spirits. You're like, wow, everybody's hot, so I'm just gonna be nice to them all. Got a face tracking program and my VTuber model, and it works well. I saw your VTuber model. It's super cute. Do you know when you're gonna start streaming? If so, I gotta be there. I will be there. Like, 10 minutes before you go live. It's your money, I guess. <laughs> it's like streamer Twitter is just the same $10 bill being passed back and forth. I have no idea, TBH. It takes time. I probably didn't start streaming till after like two months of planning. I like brought out the idea to my ex-girlfriend. I was like, I've been thinking, I want to stream, you know, I've been wanting to stream for like, since like 2016. Like, I always watch one streamer. <laughs> and I was like, I want to do this. I want to be like this person. And they're like, cool. And then I took a nap and then I woke up and she's like, I made all of your assets. So she made this background, she made that font. And I was like, okay, go off, I guess. I had an old logo, but the current logo me and Jill made together. So that is super cool of her. Like, I don't hold any ill will against her. Like, she's a really cool person. We just weren't together at the right time. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just more like I didn't really want a girlfriend. I'm like, do I still like girls? Let's see. Not good on my part, but you know, I've since apologized to her and I still think that she's a really cool person. So if she sees this, hi, you're really cool. <laughs> she probably won't, but um, streaming setup took me like, yeah, healthy communication. You know, I'm here for it. I probably need a face tracking thing on my phone for the model so I can stream my face and a game at the same time. Um, I'll ask Junie and Gwen because they have VTuber models that they use sometimes when they will have a no face cam day. Uh, they probably know better than I do. So let me remind myself to remind them. VTube Junie. Um, their programs will do it for you on your computer. And it like incorporates with yeah, the face, it can work while your window isn't active. Um, I'm not sure what program they use, so I'll ask them. But, like, they have ones that, like, they track, like, even, like, your way your body moves and, like, when you blink. It looks really cool. Um, if you have an older model of phone, using it as a webcam will make it overheat. I tried that idea for a while because I wanted a second webcam for when I did my starter board game stream, which turned out to be a disaster, but I had fun anyway because the person I wanted to play with didn't show up. So I played a board game by myself and then I forgot the rules halfway through and I forgot to forge. It's also a bajillion pieces. I'll play it with you. Get your ass over here. Full body tracking costs a lot of money, but I would absolutely love full body tracking. Yeah, like, go big or go home, I guess. You have it on tabletop, Sam? Girl, let's play! Let's go! Not right now, I gotta date Raptor boyfriend. Not the Raptor, we gotta date Jacob Talto. So... But yes, we're all caught up on the announcement. I'm excited about it. Let's go after Bigfoot. Um... Okay. So now that I'm back, let me bring the audio back up. This music is so good. Ugh. It makes me feel like I'm back in high school. Okay. Like, this is the kind of music I used to listen to. Can I go back? Load? Ah! Not responding! 
Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, the ass assignment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, to catch you all up. Last week, last or two weeks ago, the dicks are not out yet, but just for Baffy, I'm not playing the video again. I'll just post it. Yeah, I'm I'm the dick that's out. This is for you, Baffy. I'll post the video on Twitter and then share it directly in your DMs. But I made a video for this. I'll share it directly in your DMs once I post it. So don't forget. It's gonna be awesome. And you're gonna love it. Yay! Doritos and Mountain Dew. <laughs> yes, I am the dick that is out. It's pride. I'm out. Um Let's go back from shopping. Did you go to Weggy Man's? I love Weggy Man's. Um Uh so anyway. Last week, or la two weeks ago, we played this game. We met, we're Canadians, exchange, we're a Canadian student. I do have the recipes planned out. If you would like to posturize what those recipes are, you can take a couple guesses, but I will not give them away. Nana's not allowed to say, because they already know. But, you know. And Petco, awesome. So, two weeks ago, we are a Canadian student living in hi mel speaking of canadian hello another another fellow cooking show person once again for mel in the back i'm doing this thing Woohoo! chaos kitchen's back there was a video i'll post it on twitter because i don't want to play it again because <laughs> i don't want my game to freeze and yeah, no, I hear your sign. Okay, anyway. I love you, Mel. Thank you for being here. You changed your name. I'm so unobservant. I'm sorry. The Canadian, don't kill them. You'll auto report. What? That, I don't understand. Anyway. Two weeks ago, we were. <laughs> this is giving the beginning of Wind Waker all over again. You just changed it. Yay! I love it. Two weeks ago, we played this game, and, um, that's a smart idea. We, we, uh, <laughs> I googled Mountain Dew nachos, hoping to find some cursed nacho meat cooked with some Mountain Dew, and instead I found Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. Damn. That sounds good. I won't give away the recipes. You'll see it then. Okay, okay. This is proof I have ADHD. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, two weeks ago, we played this game. And we are a, a Canadian student. And we just moved to this town called Ladle, which is a pun on Forks. It's all based around Twilight humor. Our name is Stella instead of Bella. We're kind of geeky, non-conforming, gender non-conforming student. Um, and we used to go to summer camp and one of our friends from summer camp was a bigfoot and we haven't talked to him in several years because we had a crush on him it's our first day at our new school and we want to be a sex icon remind you sex icon mm. here we go kids chest hairs out <laughs> so we are a sex icon no we're not we get pranked. There's a stinky sock in our locker that was left there from Robert Raptorson instead of Robert Pattinson. We don't like him. He's a jerk. He's kind of a burnout. You know what big feet mean? Big socks. <laughs> and then we also met Day, and she is a fae. And she's really cool. She has a friend who's a ghost. I don't remember the ghost's name. Your answer was better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Baffy. Yeah, okay. I appreciate you. <laughs> sure. I know you meant bonk. Um, and then... Let's see what else happened. So, then... We also ran into Jacob. No, Taylor. Taylor Tall Toe. 
instead of Taylor Lautner. Taylor Talto is the is a Sasquatch, and he's really hot. And so we're dating him. We're dating him. We have a crush on him, still to this day. Still those shaggins. Um, and we met up at this lake to get stoned with some guys. And it was really awkward, but we were proved worthy. We went home, but on the way home, we gave Taylor a hug. So now we're back in to episode two. There is a hobbit named Daddy Two Foot. Send him my way. Ooh, I bet I'm taller than him too. All hobbits have big feet. They're all <laughs> pretty sure y'all can guess what I'm doing right now. Is sex your special interest? Just wondering. It had been like a month, and I still hadn't had any significant alone time with Day, Taylor, or Robert. Her therapist is a teddy bear. <laughs> Playing the Lion King. They does it every time. Don't get me wrong, Doc. I enjoyed us going to the lake together, running them around, and I finally had people to eat my... Eat eat my lunch at school with. Okay, I got confused. Usually you don't put this article of speech at the end of the sentence. Mufasa can get it! <laughs> they didn't have to draw Nala like that. But I was starting to get worried that we were becoming just a bunch of, I don't know, casual buds? I mean, you could be streaming and they could be in your chat. I want to know if we could, like, work well together. <laughs> yeah. Baffy is limitless. Like, as a couple or something. Okay. Get this idea. Polycule? Why can't we play Cryptid Polycule? You do not want your horny powers in that case. No, Nana love The Lion King's their favorite movie. Do not ruin it for them. They will cry. But I didn't even know if they were going out with anybody. Or whether they even wanted a relationship. Yes, we need more polyamory in games. Yeesh. I didn't even know, like, their zodiac signs. Well, of course I made a plan. I was going to get them alone if it was the last thing I did. Ooh, girl. Like, Infinite from Sonic. <laughs> we were talking about the most effable Sonic characters. I'm gonna go lie down because I'm running on a little sleep, but I'll keep you up for Thank you, Jill. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow for killing off old people in a video game. Whatever you know, and whatever, you know what I mean. I was really into them, and I wanted to get to know them more. I knew you would want to know the plan. Okay, so here it is. I was gonna get some alone time with them, but I... We're gonna be a proper lady. Being like a ninja. Kinda weird. Cringy. Being a temptress. Kinda fits our model of wanting to be a sex icon. We're playing a game... We're planning on playing a rather violent video game tomorrow. Um, it's called Just Die Already, and it's like a death simulator, but like in a com in like a comedic way. You're like old people in a nursing home, and you break out of the nursing home, and there's like an environment, like a sa it's a sandbox game, and you're in a city with like a billion waves that can kill you, but it's like funny death, it's like slapstick death. Yeah, it's funny. It's a little edgy, but it's funny. I'm allowed to have a not wholesome game for once, you know. Just, just a little, just to keep the edge out. Gotta go. It's very unwholesome, but I hope that still inspires you to come anyway. Because <laughs> Nana had so tons of fun playing it, and I was like, if they're having fun, I'm gonna play. So get you some variety. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's get let's get seductive. By being a temptress. An unwholesome playlist, I guess. 
Yeah, that's a great idea. We need to go through the playlists, actually. Some of the Zeldas are out of order. It goes from, like, I don't know, like, 63, 65, 64, 66, 67, 68, 70, 69, 71. It's really weird. I'd be so alluring that they'd voluntarily spend time alone with me. I'd eat chocolate-covered strawberries. I'd cross my leg on one side and switch them to the other side after saying something suggestive. I generally do things that tempt people. I know. The plan seemed perfect to me at the time, too. Just a bit <laughs> Me, day. They're in the playlist by your upload dates. Um... Okay, Baffy, here's what I do. Like, two weeks elapse, elapse, and then I just hit upload to YouTube all all six videos or whatever, and then send them to YouTube, and then I don't look at YouTube ever again. <laughs> That's my toxic trait. I put little to no effort into YouTube. Um, anyway, me, Day, Taylor, and Robert were to put into the same work for a group science project. We're trying to find a time when we could get together after school to work on it. Hello, sister. Yeah, I know. This is why you get doubles. Yeah, I don't pay attention. My bad. We are trying to find a time when we could get together after school and work on it. I'm having trouble focusing because I have an undiagnosed ADHD. Stella? Stella? What? Back me up here. These guys are trying to flake out on us meeting for the project. I couldn't tell them that I was too busy thinking about my plan to get some alone time with them to pay attention. I thought of something else fast. Sorry, sorry, I was thinking about... Serial school things are getting acrylic nails. <laughs> okay, my personal answer would be cereal. But I think that... Because I, I have a beef with Kellogg's right now. Or if I was about to say, it would pick getting acrylic nails. I have a beef with Kellogg's. Bring back the chocolate mini wheats. You said you're bringing it back, and you sent me some coupons, and I'm gonna use those coupons on chocolate mini wheats. I'm gonna buy seven boxes. <laughs> anyway, I just want my chocolate mini wheats back. This is an autistic treat. <laughs> In between school and nails. Okay, so not cereal. We got two for nails. We got two for nails. Who else has got... I thought Mini Wheat sounds good. They're so good. They're just out of stock. Like, they're, they said that there's a huge shortage on them right now. Sure, they make the blueberry. They make the strawberry. They make the cinnamon. They make the basic ass bitch one. But they don't make the chocolate. Fourth hidden option, guard blocks. Is that Roblox with guard chomp? Um... I go with school though. If I'm being well, school things would imply that we're working on. We're thinking about the very project, but any other options? We got one for nails, one for one for school, right? They count wrong. What are your guys' choice? Nails, sure, yeah! Bimbofication! I was thinking about getting acrylic nails. Acrylic nails? Yeah, what do you think? I think, uh, good luck finding a place that applies fake nails in little. Oh, right. For now, leave the talents to me, lounge lover. <laughs> sure. What? I said I thought fast. Look, we're running out of time to get the project together. And you two are really dragging this out. That's all I'm saying. It's just a lousy, busy work, work, work presentation. It's a challenging project that tests our knowledge of what it would take to colonize Mars. Yeah, busy work. Ugh. I wasn't really that into doing the presentation. 
To be honest, public speaking has always been a nightmare for me. But then I realized this could be an opportunity to hang out. The more time we spend together, the more chances of a successful mission. Come on guys, day's right. We should get together soon. I've been saying I'm down to do it. It's just gotta be the right time and place. And energy. But I told the therapist. Okay, how about tonight at the library? The library at night? Yeah, Miss Bird lets me study there. My house gets too disruptive. Are you nuts? I don't go in there. Not a big reader? No. I get it. I mostly stick to fiction, so school libraries. I mean, no is in like, that's not why I never go there at night. Okay. There's a cursed book in there! Here we go. <laughs> this is so funny. A book that if you read it, you die. 14 days. No one knows what it looks like, but it sits somewhere on those shelves waiting. Don't pick it up, yeah. What? What? Yeah, what? That's ridiculous. Is it? Then what do you think happened to Brian Brancher? He fell while climbing a cliff. Exactly! 14 days after he was seen reading a strange book where... A Disney World? The library? A bad cliff climbing school! <laughs> <laughs> the cursed book <laughs> it's a combined volume of oracle of ages and oracle of seasons craig wessel you bitch <laughs> bad clip climbing school <laughs> uh bad clip climbing school nailed it yeah they should totally be shown down they keep teaching their students to climb while all greased up. <laughs> also, they probably shouldn't start class with a trust ball either. It's just the wrong precedent. What? No, with the library. He was seen at the library. The wizard sage Craig Wessel penning cursed tomes in the Forbidden Wario book. We gotta get that Wario book, dude. Alright, I get it. Even if I don't believe it. We can do it somewhere else, then. Look, we should just slap some pictures on Mars on a Bristol board and call it a day. I know you don't take school seriously, but I don't want to fail. The book doesn't exist, yeah. Oh, the, the, the Wario book? Yeah, if Dave Wiener reviewed it, it exists. We also know where he lives. We have his, we have his general town. He's like three hours from us, so we can like try to find his house. And be like, hey, can we borrow your book? Because his Twitter's not active, so I can't DM him and be like, can I borrow your book? We're gonna do a high extent Dave's house! <laughs> Exclamation point, legal! Uh, hey, Taylor's turned over a new leaf. Oh, silly man, I can't remember ever seeing you at school, so like... Consistently? Yeah, constantly. I mean, whatever, it's the last year. Oh, you're fine. You're totally cool. Um... I think Taylor's showing up to school more for us. He doesn't care about school, he just wants more time looking at me. I just thought I'd make an appearance at least. I was surprised to hear that. Even just showing up to school was a rare occurrence for Taylor. Yeah, it's Bigfoot. We're dating Bigfoot. We're at least trying to. Yes, yeah, he's a tall toe. His name is Taylor Tall Toe. I was surprised to hear that even just showing up to school is a record. I heard he wasn't really into the whole school thing, but I didn't think it went that far. I remember wondering what changed. Was it really just that it was last year? I was so dense. You gotta stay focused. I don't care when we get together to work on the project. I just want to work on it. Say no more. We can do it tonight at my place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure I'll be able to make that. Oh, come on, man. I've got snacks, tunes, and a sweet mini bar. Those my parents will be out of town this weekend. It's perfect. 
I'm not sure that the mini bar is going to get a turn to use during a stone. Pretty. Right, right, of course. So wait. It's not a party then, right? I'm gonna say no. Oh. I don't blame you though, lounge lover. It does contain all the elements that are required for a party. Like hella tight bitches, mathematics. Hello, how are you? Is that, is that, is that Sab? Ma, I'm a little spaced out tonight, heavily medicated from uh, Shark Week. But I'll try to pop in some more. Thank you, Sab. I appreciate you. Uh, moth person. She's a she's a fae. Yeah, what's the difference between a fae and a fairy? The paperback. Yeah, the paperback's a hundred bucks. We're not getting the Wario Land book. <laughs> we can do a community community fundraiser for the semantics. Okay. Um, because I think that there's a dialogue and right. Okay. Rye is feeling sicky, but listening and vibing from the bed behind me. Hello, Rye! I, I spiritually see you. It does contain all the elements that are tight required for a party, like bitches and mathematics. I said mathematics, but thank you. <laughs> what the fuck is mathematics? That's funny. Yeah, except for one crucial feature. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna remind, check your damn quotes. Quotes, bruh. The people. They can easily be fixed, though. Okay, Robert. It's starting to sound like your place might be, not be the best to concentrate on the project. Whoa, 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 day, relax. I don't have to say fae and fairy, but I can't put into words. That's okay. Take your time. You can rely on me. My only interest is the task at hand. When it counts on lead green schoolwork mission. Only when it counts, though. Yep. Right. How you decide when it counts and when it doesn't. I just do. Like, right now. I was like, does this one count? And I was like, yeah, it totally does. Simple as that. Amazing. Okay, fine. Robert's house it is. We'll all meet there tonight. Does that work for everyone? Totally. Yes. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Great. Okay, see you guys later then. Why don't we meet at our house? Stella, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Oh boy, I think she's intimidatingly hot. Like, I was very on the fence between dating her and Jacob, or Ta why do I keep saying Jacob? Taylor? But like, the, the, we put it up for a vote and the chat majorly leaned towards, I think 100% leaned towards Taylor, so. Taylor and Robert were off to the next period, and then it was just us. Ella, I'm gonna need you to help me get those two actually show up and work on the project. I'll do it. The common image we think of when we hear fairy is called a pixie, if I remember correctly. But fae covers anything from pixies to leprechauns, gnomes, goblins, elves. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a, a kingdom phylum class order. Class or an order? I don't know. Nana knows more about that. <clears throat> I'll do it. Wow, okay. I thought you might have to I might have to convince you, but not. I thought about going to check on Taylor and Robert. Brian is asking if we missed the announcement. Oh, okay. I made a little video, but I'll post it on Twitter. But Chaos Kitchen, episode six. Yeah. Um, I am still gonna make your vinegar pie on the next Chaos Kitchen. I remember you guys won the vinegar pie recipe as the Asan fundraiser. <laughs> yeah! I love this gift! Is that Limmy? Holy shit! That's great. I get to have Limmy- Oh shit, wrong one. I get to have Limmy dancing in my chat! 
Folklorically, fairy, goblin, and demon are basically the same thing. Okay. Nah, bro, it's fine. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do the date night episode in August, which will be a test for what recipes I will make for my candlelit dinner with Karis as the winner. So the vinegar pie will be tested on stream for that. That'll be August episode. So just so you know. Just so you know. I love dancing Lemmy. This makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, me too. So I'll post a video on Twitter after stream. What about going to check on Rock Taylor and Robert? And how that would give me an opportunity to maybe have some quality time with each of them. Oh, also, can I get a ride from you to Roberts? And they made three. Yay! Oh, you cool! Before I even thought about getting ready for the project, I need to check in with a very important program. Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Oh. Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats. Yes. Uh, the raptor is Robert Raptor Sam, like Robert Pattinson. And our name is Stella, like Bella. And her name is Day, like Twilight, or another time of day. So. Samurai Pizza Cats. Message one. It's Doug. If I land a chance to go over the numbers on your property, my advice is to hold on to it for now. Other people seem fairly certain Lidl will benefit from the planned highway expansion. The town had a direct route to Highway 10. You could be looking at double the current asking price. If you are still eager to turn it around, though, I'd be happy to act as your agent. Call me back either way. Message two. Stella, we should probably talk about the project since it's uh, already Saturday, huh? <laughs> Anyway, if we're still going, I need a ride from the lake later. Give me a, give me a call if you can. From the lake? Did she just get stoned before working on a project? Hey, just wondering if you're like, still going to Robert's tonight? I mean, anyone else is? Anyway, give me a call and let me know if you're going, that is. Probably at the campgrounds doing Damn practice if you want to swing by, so yeah. Okay, uh, bye. Message four. Hey, lounge lover, just wondering what's happening tonight. I wanted to do this thing before our thing. I'll be at Highway 54 with a sick surprise. Hey, wait, give me a call. Shit. Please don't tell me that I can only make one call, right? Just in case we can only make one call, I'm gonna call Taylor. <laughs> Shit. Hello. Hey, Tay. Oh, hey, Stella. Hey, you haven't called me that years. I know. Don't you miss it? Uh, not particularly. What? Did you used to call? Oh, what did you used to call? I don't know how to fucking read. This game is just reading, and I don't know how to read. <laughs> what did you used to call me? Right, Stell. Right, definitely prefer Taylor now. Ah, uh, come on, you're not fun. Hey, and Stell. It's still so fun. I'll call you Stell if you agree to never call me Tay ever again. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm at your way. Let's be boring old Taylor and Stella. It sounds cute though! Will we be Tella or Staler as our ship name? I don't know. Mm, I think we'll survive. So are we still going to Robert's later? I don't know, I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. Really? Like what? Setting up for practice, practice. Then cleaning up after practice. Doesn't seem like a lot of work. Actually, Stella, content creation is a lot of work. Okay? Okay? Okay. How would you know? There's a lot of equipment involved. Yes! He's gotta set up his Elgato. 
He has set up his stream deck. I don't have one of those though. You gotta make up his his chaos kitchen video. Like what equipment? Oh, you know, guitars, strings, bass, trombones, cellos. We could use some help with that. Nah, I've got it. Taylor. <laughs> Sounds like you're flaking again. If you don't believe me, you can come over and see. Really? Well, maybe I will then. Wait, really? I didn't think. I'm totally coming over. Just tell me where and when. The campgrounds? So I'll be there all day. It's a date. <laughs> it's a what? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> My heart's beating, guys. I get more emotional playing dating games than I do, like, playing horror games. <laughs> and that's proof that I'm a Libra. <laughs> anyway, you, you, you coming to work on the project tonight? Right? Since when were you so into school? It's not that I'm... Not that I'm into school, I'm just worried about the presentation aspect of it, that's all. I'm still so scared of public speaking. Right. Well, don't worry too much. The whole project is basically the equivalent of show and tell. I'm pretty sure by the time we get up there, the whole class will be up to sleep due to boredom. They probably won't even notice us going up there. I wish they could actually be asleep. <laughs> and I wouldn't have to feel them staring at me the whole time. The trick I was taught was to stare out just above their heads. So it looks like you're making eye contact, but not really. That's like a... I use the tactic where I look at people's eyebrows. I don't look people directly in the eye. Um, people with glasses I trust a lot more than people without glasses. Because then I can actually look at their frames. So it doesn't look like I'm staring above them. Oh yeah. You like to sing and play guitar all the time. Yeah, but not like in front of people. No, you have no idea how impressive that is. Okay, once I do. Oh, when did you perform? Not really the same as public speaking or giving a presentation or whatever. You're right. It's like even more scary because you're just like singing a song you wrote with all this meaning. Like your heart and soul just out there for anyone listening to hear and judge. Well, I don't know about that, I mean, heart and soul. It's so amazing, did you get stage fright? No. Actually, I completely bombed. Aww. What happened? Ugh. I don't like to think about that. Come on, tell me please. Okay, fine. During that show, it was Ladle Harvest Fest talent show. I went up to play and I just forgot all the lines. Oh my god, what did you do? I don't know, I just pretend saying all the words. It was awful. You could totally tell. The crowd booed me off stage the end. Oh, Taylor, that's awful. I don't know if I'd ever perform again if that happened to me. Wow! I haven't performed since. I'm hoping it'll be easier with Brandon up there with me. I don't know. So you're still gonna do it then? Yeah, yeah. You're an Aries, right? Uh, I guess. It was out of nowhere. Well, Aries are determined. They don't give up on things they care about. Whatever, astrology is... Typical Aries. You're a fighter, Taylor. Not even. You are, though. No. You're an inspiration. Stop it. I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> this dynamic is so cute. Like, my heart's beating. Okay, shut up. Okay, but seriously. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I guess I gotta go, you know. Band practice. Oh, cool, I'll swing by soon. Then. So you're, uh... You're gonna come over to my place and see once and for all that band practice is hard work then? I honestly don't know anything about Aries. <laughs> Like, I know, I think it's because, like, as a Libra, my compatibility is mostly around, um, oh, Leo's love, okay, 
Leo's just the center of attention. Love when things are about them. Just they are suckers for the special treatment. Which or well, I bet you're a sucker for special treatment. Aries are done before you meet them, but they'll be revived eventually. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Okay, the people that I associated most in my life were Geminis, uh, Leos, uh, Libras, Scorpios, and Aquarius and Pisces. Um, I've, yeah. I'm most compatible with Leos, Geminis, and Pisces. No, Leos, Pisces, and Aquarius. I always hear, like, Aries are stubborn to me, and like, yeah, I'm probably stubborn, but I get it from my mom, who's a Leo. I generally like to not be noticed, at least by groups. Yeah, I mean, you know, do you like being spoiled, though? Like, if I give you, like, a fuck ton of gifts, like, say that we raised you money to get you a computer, you'd probably be like, I deserve this! <laughs> I don't think I'm mean either. No, you're not mean. I don't think... I, I feel like you and me, Mothman, are the kind of people that if we do something mean, we start to cry because we heavily regret and can't stand being mean. I suppose so. Or, well, this is my chance to just let me be nice to you and shower with you st with stuff. I, I don't have the money to spoil you but <laughs> you know what i mean um so yeah um gemini's aren't as always two-faced as they want you to think gemini's are pretty cool um this is a gemini trying to be nice but my version of nice might be someone else's rude i mean same here i think i'm being nice by clarifying things and then people think i'm being a bitch i don't know i mean i'm trying Communication is just hard as a as a whole, but also like we need to factor in your big three. So like your moon sign is how you socialize. Like my moon sign's a Pisces, and that's why I tend to get along well with a wide variety of people. Like people have, have met me and thought that I was a water sign, but Libras are air signs. They're like, wow, I thought you were a water sign. You just seem to fit in really well with other water signs. And I'm like, yeah, I fit well with air and water signs pretty well. Uh, Leos are fire signs. And my last two relationships were Leos. And that's why I was like, I can't do it with these people. I got my captions again. I can't do it with Leos anymore because it was hard to have that balance when they wanted when they wanted to make it all about them. And I was like, but what about me? You know? I asked my sister if she could feed my chickens if she lets them out of the coop. Sometimes I wake up until hours later and of course I want my hands fed and wa watered. She called me rude because apparently my tone was off. I mean, that's her fault. Like, you clarified. You're like, hey, is it possible that, you know, you could do this? It would be really nice if you could please help. And then if she took it the wrong way, that's on her. How people perceive you has nothing to do with how you... How people perceive you doesn't always have to do with how you put yourself out there. Like, someone might think I'm completely annoying, but I'm trying to be funny. You know? Or like, you know... You're asking for a favor, and someone thinks you're being rude and demanding. That's on her. So. so you're gonna come over to my place and see once and for all that band practice is hard work then. Totally. We'll meet Roberts later for the project, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Taylor. Okay, see you soon still. I guess I had to wrangle everyone to get to Robert's that night. What I didn't know was how complicated that would actually be. This is like D&D. Getting people together. Cool 
Cool hammock. First I went to see Taylor and Brandon at band practice. They're pretty good together, I guess. I was so surprised at Taylor's place. It was kind of small and cramped. It was like I had a window into his life for the first time in four years, and I didn't really understand what I was seeing. Wait, what's like dandy? I was looking up my moon sign. Um, yes, hammock. She's sitting on a hammock. Um, getting people together for the group project is like D&D. Like, she's having a hard time getting people together. Also, to add to it, I had just woken up, so I wasn't operating at full brain battery. Understandable. Like, sometimes when you wake up, you just sound miserable. You can't help it. It was like I had a window into his life for the first time in four years. I didn't really understand what I was seeing. I guess I really didn't at the time. Alright, dude. Let's call it. I don't think we're getting any further on this one. Okay. She's not sure about your guitar sound, man. Way too spacey or something. I'm not feeling it. I'm just trying something different. Well, it doesn't sound heavy enough. It sounds weird. Yeah, man, your vocals. Hey, what do you think? Oh, me? Uh, do we love it? Do we not know how we feel? Or do we think it's different from the tape that he gave us? Because we remember last week, he gave us a tape. I want to say... Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Aquarius Rise. Interesting. So, like... Your rising sign has to do with, like, your organization, your presentation, and, like, your work style. So, for example, I'm a Scorpio rising. And the cool thing about your rising sign is it changes every two hours. So, like, I thought that I was born at six in the morning. I would have been a Libra rising. Check my birth certificate. I was actually born at 10 a.m., which meant I was a Scorpio rising. Read about Scorpio rising, and I'm like, that makes more sense. So I'm a Scorpio rising. And, like, I have a tendency to be very controlling when it comes to projects, for example. I get, I just put my whole, whole heart and soul into a project. And if it goes wrong, I'm going to freak the fuck out. And it's really a hard, a hard problem when I'm working in groups because I want to control the whole group. Because it's just like, you have to be doing this, you have to be doing this, you have to be doing this. Trying to chill. You know, it's hard to, like, be fun and social <laughs> in a project like that and not rupture any ties with people. The moon is Pisces. Oh my god, we're both Pisces moons? Hell yeah. We got, we're better at socializing with a wide array of people. We also are very good at having emotions. Which is also a Libra trait. Libras are very emotional. I'd be polite. I'm gonna say I love I love his album or his song. I love it. I mean I did kind of like the vibe. I like alternative rock. Really? Uh yeah. I mean, why are you asking her? You should just turn down the d the delay next time. Uh sure, whatever. So this is your place, huh? Yep. It's where the magic happens. Oh, I remember these cabins from camp. It's not exactly Bigfoot sized, huh? Hey, it's sick pad. But we've got everything we need right here. Except the toilet. Whatever, there's an outhouse right right out back. <laughs> Dude, it's too much for, for Lady Lake's sensibilities. I have peed in the woods before. We used to do that all the time. I'm not sure what an Aquarius Rising is like. Um. Well, when you look up your, your signs, uh, it probably gives you, on Cafe Astrology, it probably gives you a, here's what your traits are like. I'm certainly emotional. <laughs> That's my favorite emoji combo. And some fist. <laughs> Got together, I hope. Oh! Oh, he thinks we'd be pissing in the woods together. <laughs> So, where is everybody? Why aren't there- why are there so many vacant cabins? Oh right, I guess I- you haven't heard. Camp's closed down. Due to COVID. Oh my god, really? Yeah, man, for like years now. Oh. 
You never told me. Really, why, why didn't you tell me? I figured it wouldn't exactly be great. Welcome back to the... Welcome back to point out the camp's closed, I guess. Well, I can see this band practice is pretty much over. So, should... so anyway, try and tighten up your play and you get kind of sloppy. So we're going to those lyrics. They're sen sen sounding too touchy-feely. Huh? Touchy-feely, you say? Singing about us. I know you're into that acoustic shit, but that's not going to work for a live set. Sure, Brandon. All right. And dude, don't forget, we have practice on Fridays. Yeah. So I don't book your school shit on that night? Well, no promises, man. I still need to graduate, so... Sure, whatever. I'll see you later, I guess. But there's Leo, Sun, Aquarius, Rising people include... Oh, no! No! Okay, well, you're a badass bitch. You got more ethereal booty power than she does, so... You can just block out her vibes. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll see you later, I guess. Yeah, yeah see you. Damn, our whole team childhood. I was like, I don't really like Brandon. I was really surprised by the way Brandon talked to Taylor. Like, he wasn't even capable of thinking for himself. The Taylor I knew would have ditched him after that. Made me wonder if there was something more to the relationship. Something I wasn't getting. You're bass bitch, you got more ethereal booty power than her. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe I could ask. Maybe that would lighten me a bit. So what's the deal with you and Brandon? What do you mean? You know, me too. You know. Roommates? Together. We're just bandmates right now. Oh my god, they were bandmates. <laughs> so, but like, are you ever together? Where's this coming from? I'm just, just curious. I guess we were close. Okay. Okay. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. What that mean? I still wasn't sure, but it was obviously something Taylor didn't want to talk about. So at the precious alone time, I finally scored becoming more and more downer. I tried something drastic. I tried my plan. What? Why don't you ask me? I ask you what? Taylor, you're so forward. Because of my overalls? <laughs> this is so funny. Are they showing too much leg? Maybe not enough. What? Wait, that's do what? Whether you and Brainer are together? Uh, no, um... Was that about your overalls? Uh... Never mind. Yeah, that didn't go well. I felt like the timing wasn't right. You know, I had to put the plan in my fanny pack for later. I forgot to bring out my fanny pack! Shit! So... So it must be kind of cool to have a place to play your own music as loud as you want. Yeah, there's nobody around to piss off, that's for sure. Taylor, yeah, right. I can't believe it. it's official. Camp is closed permanently? Yep. What are your parents gonna do? What do they have to say? I don't know. Where are they anyway? I haven't seen them since I moved back. In the woods somewhere, you know, where Bigfoot's are. Yeah, I guess they're always pretty busy, huh? Gathering wood for the camp. Making programs, living off the land. Be a lot of work. Yep. They definitely did it all. Well, you helped. I know. You were in charge of the lake sports, maintaining the courses, and the high ropes. Oh man, I sucked so hard at the high rope course. Remember that one time I went all the way to the top of the flying squirrel course? Yeah. And then you totally chicken out and got stuck up there. I think saying you saved me is the perfect opportunity to bring up our history since we did tell him we had a crush on him. And that's why we stopped talking to him. 
that could be the moment that spurred our feelings. Saying we're so embarrassed might signal that we don't want the conversation to keep going. Saying that we're a chicken also feeds into the embarrassment. And self-deprecation is not a good thing to say when you're in the middle of flirting. I think the, the sex icon thing to say would be you saved me. You climbed all the way up there to get me back down. The only way I could convince you to come down was by getting you to close your eyes and climb on my back. Fucking lag. But it was the right option. GG. The only way- Oh, climbing on his back just like in Twilight when Bella gets on Edward's back and then he climbs up the tree. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I watched that movie last summer. I watched all four of them. Five of them. Shit, there's five of them. The ending of the last one blew my fucking mind. <laughs> the only way I could convince you to come down was by getting you to close your eyes and climb on my back. You still wouldn't let go even more on the ground. <laughs> right. That's so embarrassing. Let's hair behind you. You're gonna be climbing on more than just his back by the end of this. Ooh! <laughs> Baffy, I love you. Yeah, well, it's pretty much torn down now. Oh, right. Guess it would be. What do you think that happened? All well, came down about a year ago now. So weird. Oh. Also, his eyes are so blue, and I'm like mesmerized. I guess I just want to be able to come back and have everything be the same. You're kidding, right? Huh? Stella, it's been four years. Four years I had to spend alone picking up the pieces of the mess my parents left behind when the camp closed. Not hearing back from you? Are we gonna tell the truth? Tell the truth that we have a crush on him? <laughs> Eldritch warning. There's an Eldritch being a warning mess. Should we apologize for not talking to him, or should we finally tell him that we have a crush on him? That's not fair, will not get us laid. Just saying. Let's throw in the blame onto him and throw in the blame on someone that you're trying to get in with. Not cute. Um, tell him? Anyone else want to tell him? Tell him the truth? Woo! Listen, Taylor, the reason I stopped writing is... I... I had feelings for you. You, you did? I didn't. I guess I was afraid that if I kept writing, it would be so obvious. Oh. Please, please don't make fun of me. I, I, I wouldn't. Taylor looked like he was caught off guard for a second. Look. I, um... Uh... Never mind. <gasps> he likes us! I felt like Taylor was holding back from saying something. I thought we'd cleared the air, but something still wasn't right between us. Then I remembered my mission from the day. So... Come on! This is a slow burn fic. Oof! So do you think you can make it over to Roberts tonight? It's a waste of time. Oh, hi. Project flies in the face of everything that I stand for. It's really just so horrible right now. I'm gonna be very intentional with my time on this planet. Don't we all? It's beneath me. It's beneath you. It's beneath all of us. Please. <sighs> Fine. Can you stop looking at me like that? I'll go. Oh, Taylor, thank you. But don't expect me to take this project seriously. I know, I know. You're determined to show everyone how insignificant it is. Classic. Aries. Hi, Cashew. You. you come to say hi? Cashew had a rough day today, guys. Didn't you, Cashew? We had to give him medicine to get rid of his ear gunkies. We had to wrap him up in a towel and he was screaming. He was not cute. I think he since forgotten. 
Hopefully. Yeah, he's rubbing his ear on me. Yep, he's good. Check him out. Little guy. You got little guy-itis. It means you're a little guy. You got a terminal baby disease. Terminal baby disease. You're gonna... You were born a baby, and you're gonna die a baby. Terminal baby disease. <laughs> yeah. He's cute. Aww, he's curled up on my lap. Wish I could move my camera. <laughs> yeah! Wish I could move my camera, because this is cute. Yeah. The internet can't see our bonding moment. No, they can't. Yeah. Hi, BB. I'm gonna grab some food real quick. But I'm Miller again. Also, that Target shirt. Yes, it is a Target shirt. It has flags on it. Like, uh, this one's non binary. And this one, I think, is bisexual. Oh, no, this one's trans. This one is pan. Shit, this one's pan. This one's a bisexual. But yeah, Cashew's on my lap. I can't see him. Left my phone down. Uh, nope, that doesn't help. Anyway, he's gonna warm my lap up. Classic Aries. Right, right. That's so Aries of me. It is! <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll see you, Roberts. You don't need a ride? Nah, it's not far. We gotta finish packing some of this stuff up from practice, too. Okay, I'll see you there. That was some nice jamming, by the way. Okay, I think we made progress. Hi, kitty. Have fun being a cat. You know what? Cash had a bad day. He's allowed to be a pain in the ass. So that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I felt like I really stepped it in with Taylor. Stepped in it. Uh, we had to we had to clean his ears out. So we had to like put medicine in in his ears because he's got ear gunkies. We had to put the the liquid medicine in his ears, massage it in there, put the Q-tips in or the cotton swabs in or the cotton balls in there, hold them down with a towel. It was not cute. I feel bad for him. So I gave him treats and I cuddled him. And my plan to be a temptress hadn't helped at all. But I wasn't about to give up yet. This bug. Next, I went to see what Robert was waiting to show me at Highway 54. I knew he would be the key to getting the project done, since he was the only one who could host our study date. You're going to drop some Method had to do that when we got first got him. Yeah, I don't know how Cashew got them. I think it's because he's a messy eater. Another thing that Cashew and Nana have in common. But I was really not prepared for his surprise. He got me a dirt bike? Lounge lover, you are hilarious. But no, we're going for a ride. Robert. Are you psyched or what? Tell me you're not psyched. Are we surprised? Are we like gung ho? Or are we just wax build up because it hasn't been tanked? Oh, okay. Or are we gonna pretend that we're not excited for this motorcycle? I feel like we as a character are nervous about this. He might be a bad driver. I don't know. I don't want to get in a, in a bike accident because of him. I feel like that might be something that could happen. Nah, we're all in it for Bigfoot. We're all in it for, for Taylor. Unless we want to go polycule mode, but... Let me check Steam. I don't think that there's a polycule mode. I think there's like a... let's see. I 
I mean, there's three endings. Um, and we get an achievement if we get... We have to pick between three crushes. He's a lizard. I don't know how well they drive. I mean, he's won awards for skateboarding and snowboarding, so he might be coordinated enough. He does have little four claws, you're right. Like, he's good at skateboarding. He's got good leg power. So he's definitely got coordination. That's different than driving, yeah. I promise you. <laughs> he's closer to birds and crocodiles than the lizards. I feel like Cashew looks like a looks like a raptor. Um I'm thinking of saying I'm surprised. I don't want to be too gung-ho about it, honestly. Right, right, Raptor Boy. Um What do you guys think? I'm surprised? Heck yeah, to find psyched. I mean, Define Psych makes him not want to hang out with us. Or he might try to coerce us. I don't know. I don't know enough about his personality. But he seems like the kind of fuckboy that uh, would coerce us. I don't know. Let's hope his tail doesn't knock us off the bike. Yeah. We're all hesitant here in chat. His price is honest. Um, well, I... I'm surprised. Like, yeah, you are. Come on, lounge lover. It's gonna be our first trail rip. Oh boy. Remember when I told you I'd show you the cool side of Ladle? Well, that time is now. Cool, but can that time be like later? I bet you might be nervous. You need not worry, milady. Ugh! Ugh! He called us milady! Ugh! Ugh! He's terrible. I'll be the utmost chauvinist tonight. I've got you a helmet and everything. Don't you mean chivalrous? Yeah, you are being a chau chauvinist. Oh, uh, yeah, that. What do you say? Listen, I'm definitely um excited. Of course. But we need to get to the project done, remember? Well, we'll go to my place and do the project, I swear. But first, we go for a trail ridge. Just a little one. We have the time. Uh, come on, two of us on this slick bike, wearing your hair, carefree in the night breeze. You look bitchin'. I can't deny he has a way with words sometimes. I was so freaked out, but I had to admit that this was a perfect opportunity to get some of that good alone time. Not to mention, there's a chance to get real close to him on the back of his bike. I mean, in Twilight, there is a scene where she's on a motorcycle with Jacob. Just saying. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. Just for a little bit. Sure, sure. Um, where's your helmet? Don't need one. Wait, really? Yeah, don't worry. I've got major good reflexes. If we crash, I'll do a perfect flip off the bike and land on my feet. We won't crash though, I promise. We'll go nice and slow. Okay. Shit, I'm nervous. Uh oh. When I climbed on, I was so scared I was shaking. Oh, she's not she's gonna lose her shoe. He told me to hold on tight, and I was sure he'd be able to feel my heart beating against him. And then we were going, and it was such a blur. I remember my fingers went numb from the cold and holding on so tight. He told me we were heading to his favorite spot in the ladle. I noticed we were climbing that huge hilly overlook. I was hoping we didn't go on a ridge and end up over the lake. Over and in the lake. I guess Robert really is a good dirt... I guess Robert is really good at dirt biking now. Because we got there, no problem, and in one piece. I was so relieved to get off. I could have kissed the ground. Yeah, you see what I mean by the best spot in Lidl? Yeah, how have I camped here every summer? i never seen this. They had Aquarius 
Sprite. Uh, Arquia Sprite Hug Labs. Oh my god, not Arquia Sprite. Damn. It's not exactly easy to get to. It took me a while to find the way up here. I had to connect a couple of hiking trails. It's worth it. Yeah. Come up here to just chill. It's kind of like my secret spot. What? <laughs> it's a homestuck, Orville! <laughs> secret? Uh, I don't really bring anyone up here often. Really? I bet you brought other girls up here before. Yeah, not really. Not even Jessica? Not even her. No. What's up with you and her, anyway? What do you mean? I mean... Are you two? Wait, me and Jess? Oh, Orville will know eventually. I think I remember what you mean, though, yeah. The hugging panel? Yeah. She's just I'm literally waiting home second until the stream, yes. Happy, let me know when that's happening. If if I ever get my computer. Yes, when you get your computer. It's gonna be amazing. Um keep busting out those good commish. You're so talented. You'll 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 be paying for, for a computer with so many digital dicks. She's just always been there, you know. We're like I don't know what's going on with her right now. But yeah? Forget it. Alright. Oh, he kind of likes her. Uh, anyways, junior year when I found this place, I had to play him. <laughs> I had to play to jump the gorge. What, really? How? You'll be paying for a computer with so many digital dicks. <laughs> it's hot in here, guys. Woo! I need to undo another buy-in. <laughs> Woo! Old trusty here. But then, well, things kind of changed. I didn't even go and end up going through with it. Oh, what happened? I don't know. I guess I just realized it was not cool. That cool idea. <laughs> yeah. But I realized it is cool. It's actually a wicked cool idea. I want to try to do it again by the end of this year, I think. You don't think you could make it? I mean, it's a pretty wide jump. Still, do you not know me at all? Of course I can do it. Just a matter of force over velocity or whatever you say so i'll try it there's been a lot of freaking back sets my uncle was supposed to get me it but he's had a few things popped in the way also i only have gotten one commission that was from you know it's a part of a simpsons episode i don't know if you want naughties commission baffy hopefully that signal boost works you say so. Hey, didn't you see how easy it was to get us up here? I can ride Trusty anywhere. Because I've done some pretty wicked jumps before. Really? I jumped a, I jumped a car at the junkyard once in Ladle Creek down by the campgrounds. Wow. I think it's a bad idea. I did ask think it's a bad idea. If we stay out of this world, we'll make his dick too big. Um, unless it's implying that his idea is too crazy. I think Brave also, I don't like any of these options, but honestly, I would probably just say it's a bad idea, because like, he has to pay attention in science, you need physics, Evil Knievel did all that shit because he had a, because he had the power of physics. Like he could mathematically chart, or had a team that would mathematically chart, how his jumps would go. Also, tons of practice. Jumping over a car versus jumping over a gorge? So, I personally say bad idea. I don't know what you guys think. We're like, out of this world. Don't know if it's like, you got some out of this world ideas. Or if it's like, wow, a sugoi. Or like, brave as in like, oh, you're brave. I have the power of physics and anime on my side. Sugoi. 
Oh my god, guess what I learned? Okay, you know the girl in the vine who gets the water dumped on, on them and it's just like, hello? Um, they're trans now. I don't want to see them fall off the gorge, hitting every rock on the way down. You know... That's... Okay, okay. So maybe we should inflate him. That's not what I meant. Maybe we should inflate his ego. You cannot backspace your words, Holden. Knowing that you and Baffy and Orville are here, it's over! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Did I hear inflate? <laughs> then I just sighed. It's just like, oh, this guy. Um, let's see. I think we're gonna go with uh. I don't know, guys. I like Nana changed my perspective. Sorry, my mom just got a shout at me. <laughs> with the hard eyes. Oh, star eyes. That's so tiny. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I don't feel like as much as we might want to see him homer it. Maybe bad idea. I think I show my yeah. I know. It's okay. Making decisions is hard. Taylor would frown upon us letting someone- You're right! I don't know about this. It kind of sounds dangerous. But yeah, lounge lover, that's the point. Don't tell me I shouldn't do it. Because that will only make me want to do it more. Shit! Okay, I guess there's no convincing you. Such a wimp. <laughs> I can barely, like, talk to people without getting nervous. Really? Yeah, okay, Baffy. Yeah, I mean, you know, that feeling when you're about to get on a roller coaster. Yeah. For the way for just, like, normal everyday conversations. Especially when I have to meet new people. We need, like, an actual physical baseball bat for Vaffy. I guess it makes sense. I mean, everyone has their thing, you know? Oh. Sorry, I'm not so good at words sometimes. Can't have it all. Shit! I didn't want to flirt with him. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it would like getting bonked. You're so daring athletic, and you're, like, so cool. You don't even have to try. Yeah, thanks, Lounge Lover. You can do all these cool things, and, you know, you look so, uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Anyways, what I'm saying is you're you're already really cool. So it's okay if you have problems finding the right words sometimes. Everyone does. I get very bad when I unmask, and I haven't been able to mask properly for the past few days. It's okay. You're allowed to unmask. That's the thing about this space. This little space I make here and on Discord. You're allowed to not have your mask on, okay? Like, you can be your true self. Like, nobody cares about your mannerisms. No one cares about the things that you do, as long as, you know, you're being respectful of others. Maybe Bach or whatever, I'm just joking. Yeah, maybe we should get a foam one. Depends on where you bought me. Like in an olive garden? <laughs> I know what you mean, but... It's okay if you have... Oh yeah, I said that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I could barely even say my own name when we met. But I had no idea. Really? I thought it was obvious. Yeah, we call ourselves Strella. I didn't really know this, to be honest. It's pretty wild. Yep. So when we met, you were like, nervous of me? Oh, oh yeah. Hmm, do I still make you nervous? Olive Garden Unlimited Breadsticks equals Unlimited Box. Yeah! Stomach? Sure. Head? Probably not. 
there. Uh, I am... Um, I am... Um, that's definitely... I mean... Don't worry about a lounge lover. I don't bite yet. I don't bite, I swear. I said I don't bite yet. <gasps> okay, that's a bockable moment for, for Rabber. Yeesh. <laughs> well, it's getting late. I guess uh, we should head back. Wait. I don't want to leave yet. I'm just getting to the good stuff. It's time to whip out the plan. What did Nana do? Did Nana post something? I'm heading to jail. What am I looking at? What? <laughs> okay. It's time to whip out the plan. Are you sure you want to leave? I'm just warming up. I know. You can get a bit cold riding that fast. No, I mean, yes. But also, I'm warming up to the idea of what? You're so bad, Robert. Wait, I'm confused. So am I actually. Alright then, let's head back, lounge lover. Damn, he's got a pet name and everything for us. Shit. He's starting to turn around. As we rode back to where we, where we met, I felt like my goal was still in progress. Maybe the time wasn't right. Anyways, when we got back, it turned out there was another surprise waiting for us at Highway 64. Robert, what the fuck? Oh shit, Jess, what are you doing out here? I knew you'd be out here. How did I know that you'd do something like this? Jess. And with her? What the fuck, Robert? Oh, it's fine, Jess. Just chill, okay? It's not fine. You should know how irresponsible this is after everything that happened last year. Jessica, can we not get into this right now? We've got somewhere to be. Okay, yeah, because there's some, like, loose ends we need to get tied up. Like, he and Jessica clearly have a thing. He could be lying to us. Like, he's probably still with her or something, or have a history with her. But also, we need to figure out how Day's friend died. I feel like it's not a related incident. He is a problematic himbo. Robert or Eggman? Robert! <laughs> yeah. What would that be? You know what? No, Robert. You can't just weasel your way out of this. I'm not weaseling. Yeah, he's raptoring. Yeah, right. I know you've been avoiding talking about this. What is going on? <laughs> That's a great question. Robert, what is going on? Uh... I mean, you know, don't you? So tell her. Why am I so pissed off? Uh, tell her. Stella, you should probably leave. Okay. I'll see you at my place. Bye! We'll be there in a few, I swear. Okay, later, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> I was really disappointed when I had to leave Highway 54 then. Damn! I'm invested! I thought for sure Robert would ditch her, and we could ride to the lake and get day together. But I guess things weren't that easy. Maybe it was for the best, because it not just be me and day at the lake. For real! Like, come on! Anyways, I was off to the lake to pick up day next. Oh, hey. You scared me. I was just gonna know if my theory about Day accidentally killing Ingrid that day is canon. Yeah, thank you. I forgot her name. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Day accidentally killed her as well. You scared me. I mean, I didn't see you there. That's a cool drawing. No, it's amateurish. What? No, it's not. It's probably the best drawing I've ever seen anyone do. <laughs> no, shut up. So, what are you doing out here anyway? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. You seem kind of distracted. 
Actually, you know, when your brain starts, like, worrying so loud you can't stand it? Girl, every fucking day. Yeah, sort of. I like to hang out here and draw when that happens. I guess it helps clear my mind or whatever. Okay. That sounds really weird. Um... I mean, we can relate to her and our weirdness. There is weirder stuff. Like being a human in a town full of cryptids. Um, okay, kind of like, uh, girl, let's come be. <laughs> oh, when she said mind worrying, I was like, I just pictured you, Baffy, with a little whirly gig hat going. Pew, pew, pew. Um. I don't know. They're all like relatable sentences. It's just saying it properly, you know? But what if any of these trees line up with my mouse pointer? Probably not. I do this with my background. My background is a Stardew Mountain. And sometimes I'll just move my mouse around trying to find what, which one fits the best. <laughs> and that's on ADHD. Okay, anyway. Um, I'd say I'm too weird to know better. Don't mind me. I'm just being a dumb sex friend. That's okay. Baffy, I love you. You're so funny. You're a staple. You're a staple to this community. In fact, your back must hurt from carrying us. <laughs> you carry all of our needs. Um... There's weirder. I don't know, I can think of weirder things to do by yourself out here at the lake. But yeah, like what? Like, I don't know, doing your laundry in the lake? Why would anyone do that? Look, sometimes when you're camping and you didn't remember to pack enough clothes. Oh, okay, okay, you convinced me. There's weirder things. People oh. <laughs> you fucking kill me. So, um, what was the great news you wanted to tell me? Right, so... Uh... Yeah, what was the great news today? Yeah? Hey, Ingrid. Come on, let's hear it. Um, well... I need to be friggin' jubilant here! Spill it! I got, into, I got into the college I wanted. I'm so happy for her! I don't even remember how it happened, but all of a sudden I was caught in the middle of a fight between Day and Ingrid. Man, that's a feeling I don't ever want to feel again. Like, you are a menace positive. Yeah. Why not positive and derogatory at the same time? You remember that feeling? Auntie Nan. Uh, people who went to college, do you remember that feeling of, like, putting your applications, like, end of September? And then, like, everyone around you getting applications, and you're just like, okay. Or they're getting their acceptances, and you're just like, okay. And then by the time you get one, you're like, cool. Everyone had fun, and I didn't. I don't know. I'm not even, like, mad, day. You totally are, I can tell. You could have just friggin' told me. Was it too much for you? You always do this. You get mad at some little thing and then turn it around on me and now I'm the one who looks like the asshole. It's infuriating. Well, maybe if you kept feeling that way, there's some truth to it. Yeah, keep it in the positive. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Why not both? You're doing it again. This isn't just some little thing. It's kind of like a big friggin' deal day. Did you forget that I'm stuck here in Ladle in a friggin' undead purgatory? Will you go fuck around at university? Fuck around. It's like you're trying to get rid of me without so much as a goodbye. Stop it, that's not true. You can't even stop to consider me in your plans. Are you kidding? How can you con- how can I- when you constantly disappear on me whenever you please? Whatever. You said I found a replacement for me just fine. I'm not a part of this. I'm not a part of this. Yeah, leave her out of this, Ingrid. You're the one who keeps hanging around her. 
You made her a part of this. I'm just coming by to... To what? Stop trying to make this about her. Am I? Because I just saw you about to tell her your big news before me. And you know what? That's friggin' fine. Clearly, I'm not wanted, so I'll just go. Of course, just disappear like you always do. Yikes! Things were so awkward now. We sat in silence for what felt like forever. I can't think of anything to say except... Congratulations. Thanks, Stella. She kind of ruined my big moment. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't even. It's not your fault. I, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have been caught up in all of that. That's okay, really. I don't know. I'm 50-50 about whether I want an obnoxious clingy ghost girlfriend like that. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like your type. Um, why can't we just polycule with the four of them? It's not. It's embarrassing. It's fighting all the time. So I guess you're off to Orion Technical next year, huh? Yeah, goth ghost girlfriend. Like, come on. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I really don't know if I'm even ready to, like, think about this right now. It all seems so soon. But this is great news. You should be excited. That's an important part to consider, yes. And Nana, since you're asexual, she's a ghost, so, like, you don't have to worry about her touching you. You know, like, my ghosts are cold, though, and you don't like the cold. But it must feel fun to have a ghost, like, walk through you. But she's also probably respectful of that. I mean, yeah. Um, this is great news. You should be excited. I know. Be honest. Ghost Blanky. Yes, I saw Ghostbusters. Ghosts can go deeper in, in you than a solid person. Yeah. Can you imagine her putting her hand on your heart? Like, literally on your heart? And she just, like, looks you in the eyes? Who's Teddy Hyde? To be honest, I didn't even know Cryptids ever left Ladle. Yeah, I didn't either. Me and Ingrid have other problems. There's this one particular scenario in an H game involving possession. I believe it! Believe it! I couldn't help myself. I knew I might be pushing it, but the words just came out. Are you and Ingrid dating? <sighs> oh, I've heard sex with a ghost. I've heard a song called Ghost with a Boner. It's, a good, it's, it's by a band called Planet Diarrhea. They were like, they were in like a, you know, Spotify will do that thing where it'll be like, similar artists, like in your release radar. And I was like, it was like, just like these shitty bands you've been listening to. And I'm like, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted like, rock music that's politically involved. That's a good question. It is? Okay. Sorry. Oh. Stream again. What were we talking about? First instinct was to try and use my plan to be a temptress. But honestly, I was kind of losing faith in that strategy. Yeah. Never mind. Those boners are political. How? Damn it. I should be celebrating. Then I feel like shit. Do you still feel like going to Roberts? Not really, but we need to get the project done. Yes. Should we give her a hug? Make her laugh? What'd you miss? Oh, we're talking about ghost boners. Um, we just asked Ingrid... I mean, we just asked Day if she and Ingrid, the goth ghost girl, are together. And she didn't know what to say. So, leaning heavily towards Polycule! I think a type of Necro. Oh, okay. So, she is. She got accepted to college. And she's feeling like shit because she just fought Ingrid. So, we want her to feel good. 
Are we going to give her a hug? Are we going to make her laugh? Or are we going to congratulate her? I personally want to... I'm stuck between these two. But this one might minimize her feelings. But you can give an encouraging laugh. Most rights are human rights. Nana gets really attached to, like, robot rights. What if it's not the ghost of a human? Uh, You're right! Damn, we out here. I kind of am leaning between all of these now. So if I give her a hug, she might think that we're being too forward. Um, what if it's a horse ghost? Zombies are a few things that can work mine without risk of lung cancer. Um, Harkness test. <laughs> yeah, this game basically is the Harkness test. Um, shit. Anyway, not really. Yeah. We give her a hug, she might think we're being too forward. But also, you know, it's a comforting gesture. For a goof, it might minimize her feelings. But, you know, it'd be a chance to make her laugh. If we imagine her bright future, it might be overwhelming or inspiring. But both of these are double edged choices. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Beast Boy is a boy. I'm a boy. I'm not a Bulbasaur. Yeah, I don't know. I love you, the Bulba Boy. I need help making a choice, and you guys are debating ethics. You can debate your ethics once we make a choice. Or maybe save it for horny jail? I don't know. <laughs> um... I sent his default. Or we'll give her a hug, okay. Um... Like I said, I'd probably be a goof. I think Nana would do all of these things. What kind of tragedy that has been struck throughout Beast Boy's life? I'd imagine transforming would be a horrible consequence that would scar him for life. I don't remember his backstory. It's been like 12, 15 years or so since I last watched that show. Um. Damn. Since Orville's into this, give her a hug. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Stella. Yeah. Okay, you can let go now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm very into her. She's so pretty. Thick hair is a weakness. Okay, so maybe let's get out of here. Yeah, for sure. We have a project to start. Not so much, and I feel like we're still being watched. Yeah, but like, whatever. Not like I care. Let's blow this pop steam. Yeah, let's... Wait, we're in Canada. They say pop. I'm so happy to leave that lake with her. Then I almost completely forgot about the drama earlier. I really don't understand why she was with Ingrid in the first place. If they're even supposed to be together at all. The two of them, the two of them just seem so wrong for each other, and all I wanted was for Day to be happy. If I like ranks, my I totally read a tragedy about him getting too excited while having sex with Blue Destroyer. Bruh! All y'all need to be bonked out of here. Okay, so we're at the house. Time to study. That's how I figured out claws and rope swings just don't mix. We've been at Robert's place for an hour or so. We still haven't done any actual work. Okay, that's an actually pretty good story. Like, believe me, I could listen to stories about you falling on your face forever, but I've got lots, so. Yeah, we seriously have to get to work, though. Right, work. Okay, I got it. So if we're gonna build a base on Mars, how would we do it? Oh god, it makes me more tired every time I hear it. 
put. That's the assignment. How would we build a Mars boat? The list of required elements, air filtration, food storage, maintenance. We're just giving it us on a handout. So what are we even getting graded on? Quality of magazine clippings? Might as well just give the teacher the handout back and say, here you go, that's how we'd build it. Can we do that? No, we have to show that we at least made some effort. Well, I gotta agree with Taylor. Please, not you too. I'm sorry, we shouldn't go to Mars anyways. What? What? Just in case, you know. I say I don't. Okay. I'll tell you. But you gotta promise not to tell anyone. I'm still not sure about what I saw. Is he on the haunted book again? I'll take those silences and say yes, I promise, Robert. This will go to our graves with us. One night, when I was driving home from snowboarding, I took a different route than I normally did. I wanted to see some new sights, you know. Well, I did. Believe me, I did. Okay, speed it up here, Robert. I'm sorry, I didn't, you, you can't rush a good story day. Ugh. Anyways, there's a slight fog that... The kind that's slow on the ground. Got a bit lost in some dirt road, and so I stopped at the top of the hill to see if I could figure out where I was. That's when I saw it. I don't know what it was, but... I saw a big light with smaller lights spinning around it. The way that went clockwise, halfway around, and then back again. Choose your own destiny, it's for you to decide, yeah. It hovered there for a second. Then it did a sharp turn and was out of there. You saw a UFO? I can't be sure. I don't want to say that it was a UFO because, like I said, I just don't know. Right. That's what UFO is. I'm not going to find flying object. Uh, hey, you want to say I saw you about fine. I'm going to remain skeptical. But that's that's what it means. Yeah, Snake has a good ass, just saying. If I play those games on stream, I'm going to be getting my binoculars. Another two hours went by and managed to, managed to put a few things on a bracelet board. And I was completely soaked in mustard. There I was. Mustard on my raptor titties. It's good stuff too. Like grape, like like grape coupon. <laughs> Robert likes to get pooped on. No, like beer. Hello, please. Right. There, just drop the act. What act? Like you actually give a shit about this project? I do though. You did. You wouldn't let Robert tell us random stories. You wouldn't even be entertaining this conversation. <laughs> Yay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, Daisy did Daisy did into Robert a little bit. Oop. Taylor man, did you break her? Yeah. You're right. This is just a perfect example of why Ladle High sucks. Another reason why I'm just so done with this town. Oh, she is not into him. Yeah, I didn't mean it. Fine. Honestly, it's just really freeing. This project's bad. Yes, it is. It's so preschool. It's alright, I guess. Yeah, it's whatever. Weirdly, after that, we all finally got to work. After a solid 10 minutes of minor to serious effort, we're picking our achievement. I'm done working on this piece of junk. Mm. Alright, so now we just hang out for a bit? Sure, but I need to head home soon, though. This was it. It's the time I had left with them tonight. I want to hang out, but more than that, I want to pick up where I left off with... Shit. We're still going for Taylor. We're still still going for Taylor, right? This is the moment, guys. Like for real? We're still going after. We're still going after Taylor. Like Robert, we and Robert had a little moment. 
Like, he was like, I'm a himbo, but like, I've said some problematic shit. I called you m'lady. So like, I'm not really feeling Robert. But he is giving a Monty vibe. Yes, big feet, big dick, we know. Yeah, I imagine unless it really is a polyander, Taylor is the only real choice. Yeah, I like Day. It's just like she won't... She doesn't entertain our whims. I feel like Day is a little bit too much like us if we were overachieving. Um, like she doesn't know how to be adventurous, so there isn't much side. Plus, a boy in a band. I'm gonna pick up where I left off with Taylor. You can probably guess what my strategy was for getting rid of Robert and Day. I mean, we're at Robert's house. We already chose Taylor more than once, yeah. Hey, Taylor. Yeah. I have something I want to talk to you about. But I want to keep it between us. You know what I'm saying. Not in front of them! Ooh. Are you good, Stella? I mean, would, they, would that look in her eyes and then say it in front of the other two? If I were playing by myself, I'd probably keep away from pink hair to play with a sexy ghost ex. I mean, I'm gonna play it again on my own time. And, uh, go after... go after day. I'm gonna try all the endings on my own. But we're just gonna do this one route. Most of you guys really demand it, but... Oh, when I'm... Oh, when I'm good, I'm very, very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. Can you get rid of the other two for me? Oh, they're gone. You're awkward. I just cleared the <laughs> Oh, thank God. I know I came into it with a solid plan, but I was still so surprised that it... I know, look at his eyes. His eyes are so... And then, like, her expression was like... You know. You know. <laughs> I can't do it. I came into it with a solid plan, but I was still so surprised it actually worked. So, where? So, Stella. Sorry if I was a bit. I don't know. Rude earlier? When? What's your cabin when I asked about you and Brandon? Well, oh, don't worry about it. It's just you see me in relationships. I had a lot of crushes. I just had a lot of crushes. I spent all my time daydreaming about people, but I really did anything. Like, have something happen. I just get so hung up on someone for like a year sometimes. I can't think of a time where I didn't have some major crush. Uh, basically, I'm a huge dork. Everyone's had crushes still. I guess I've always tried to like steer clear of relationships. They just always get kind of messy. But it isn't worth trying to find one that. But isn't it worth trying to find one that's clean? Why does that sound so wrong? A clean relationship? I don't know, but I hate it. Okay, but seriously though. Don't tell me Taylor Talto is above going out with someone. It's not that I'm above. Because <laughs> he's tall. It's not that I'm above, I'm just not much of a romantic. You're aromantic, that's fine. Yeah, I know you do, Baffy. We gotta get you some Clorox wipes and a mop. What? You're a musician. Whatever, that doesn't mean I write love songs or anything. I just find it hard to believe, that's all. Yeah! Okay, we'll keep you up to speed. Well, I guess I'm not totally opposed to going out with the right person. There was a moment where he just sat there awkwardly, not looking at me. The right person? Oh yeah. There's another pause this time. Like Taylor was about to say something. He's Demi! Yes! We love Demi people, happy pride. Hello. Shit! When Robert and Day came back into the room. Was I upset that they ruined the moment? Yeah. But hanging out together for the rest of the night was so fun that it was hard to complain. 
After all the drama that happened that day, hanging out with just the four of us felt so nice. The cock blockers. I didn't mean to. I slapped the desk and then the menu came up. I was nervous. I mean, yeah, let's save. After all the drama happened, hanging out with just the four of us felt so nice. Like a sanctuary. Next school day, we had to give the presentation. I was still nervous, but not as nervous as I usually am. Just because I was with them, to be honest. So yeah, I don't think we got a good mark for it, but at least we pulled it together. He's so tall! Ugh! Presentation, I was at my locker when Taylor showed up out of nowhere. Taylor! Still alive. Taylor! Still alive. I think you put a tape in my locker? What makes you think that? Well, the only person I, I know who'd sneak a Flavor Girls tape into my locker. Why would I do that? I have no idea, but it's obvious from the way you're reacting that you did. So why don't you tell me why you did it? I thought you might want to broaden your musical horizons. With the Flavor Girls? Sure. Why not? Like the Spice Girls! You don't start from screaming badgers and then broaden the flavor girls. You do it the other way around. Ah, uh, so you used to like flavor girls. Maybe you can get back to your roots. Maybe your band can do a cover of one of your old favorites. You're killing me. <laughs> you got me, okay? Now here's your super cool tape bag. <gasps> Gasp! Our hands touched for a split second, and it was like a jolt of electricity between us. <gasps> and I did that super cringy thing and flinched. <laughs> when I looked up Taylor, when I looked up, Taylor's deep blue eyes pierced mine again, and I had to look away. So I just stood there like a total dork. Confused why it was so awkward. Yeah. Still uh, I'm just taking it back by his gaze again. It's so intense sometimes. My heart was racing. Taylor? Your birthday is March 18th, right? Yep. That make you uh shit, I don't know anything about astrology. <laughs> I'm a Pisces if that's what you were wondering. Pisces, cool. Yeah. So, do Pisces and Aries, uh, do they get along? I mean, they're opposite ends of the hemo spectrum! You mean, are they compatible? Just in case we're gonna kiss anytime soon. Make sure my lips are kissing fresh. Are they compatible? Sure. So are they? Yeah! Yeah, they are! Uh-huh. Oh, no. Um... I want to give him what he deserves to hear. I don't know. I'm like trying to think of interactions between the trolls. Oh, no. Uh... Why don't we think of this? Yikes. Who are we? We're a Pisces. I don't know enough about this. Hello, Kelly! How are you? I hope you're having a good day. That's only moon. You need more than just moon signs. Well, it's sun signs. We, yeah, we need we need more than sun signs. Yeah. I feel like we should just, like, be like, yeah, we're compatible, dude. Like, I bet we have a hella compatible chart. This is for relationship altogether, but it's, it's just this particular question. Yeah. Kelly, in case you want to know, we're in the middle of trying to romance a Sasquatch. And we're talking about, uh, talking about our 
compatibility. They're of average. They're average compatibility. That sounds normal. Yeah, you know. Our options are between a Velociraptor, a Fairy, and Bigfoot. I'm gonna go for Bigfoot. Because he's in a band, and he's tall, and he's hairy, and you know, big feet equals wonk. Wonk, wonk. So they're average compatibility. Um, yeah, we're trying to get big dick from Bigfoot. <laughs> um, what does he want to hear, you know? He doesn't know better. He doesn't know anything about astrology, so he's not going to vibe check us. Which, Kelly, you weren't here earlier, but hey, remember Hot Dr. Pepper? Check this shit out. New episode of Chaos Kitchen, July 9th. Maybe I'll try Hot Mountain Dew. We'll find out. The recipes are not live yet. But they'll be revealed that day. Maybe I'll try hot doc hot Mountain Dew just for you. So hell yeah. I've had tried the flaming the flaming hot Mountain Dew is not good. It's not hot. Like it's not spicy. It's just weird. It tastes like acid. I don't know. It's not terrible, it's just not hot. No, the aftertaste is really bad. Didn't I have you finish it for me? I also don't know what flavors I'm gonna do for each thing. I don't know. We can, we can... Yeah, the aftertaste is awful. I mean... By the way, I'm being the stream's resident dumbass cornball, so be prepared. Yes. Yeah, Kelly, since you're not here often, Mr. Stafflee is also known as Baffy or Vladdy. Good Vladimir, Vlad, Vlad Dad, is our resident prawn dealer and in the server and brings their horny energy to streams in a delightful way that we love. And since we're playing a dating game, we need its energy. Yeah. Good. It's Pride Month. We have to be horny. I got my Pride Month shirt on. We're trying to date Bigfoot. I'm not good at lying. Yeah. Um. I kind of want to lie, though. Because he won't know anyway. But also, we're awkward. So, like... Why is everyone projecting me that daddy can tell me I'm younger than all of y'all? Daddy's a state of mind, okay? I told you about that couple with a slushy. It was the younger one that was getting called daddy, so. Um, I went to Pride last Saturday and I had such a good time. One girl bought me a beer and another girl I got to kiss. It was so good for the soul. I'm so happy for you. Did you deserve that? I know things have been pretty rough for you lately. So like you definitely deserve to just go out, have fun, have a blast. I heard about your little party you had in, in Junie's stream. Kind of jealous. Need to know about that. Or how to get into that kind of situation. I'm not in that state of mind. That's okay. But I'm so happy you had so much fun at Pride. Um, my friend, one of my coworkers went to Pride and she also got to see boobies. And I was like, damn, I went to work. I never got to go to Pride this year. I just stayed in my house and was sad because of capitalism. But like, I'm living through everybody else's pictures. So like, your outfit was really cute too. I saw you tweet your outfit and your makeup and you looked like, you looked so happy afterwards. I was so happy for you. So you deserve it. Kelly deserves it. Also, Kelly is a streamer, so like, if you like cats, follow Kelly. She's like really cool. She makes fun of me for drinking hot Docky Peppy. <laughs> I love hot Docky Peppy. Oh my god, hi, Hoey! <laughs> it's okay, Hoey. We got, we got Baffy here. <laughs> yeah. Now we got two hoes up in here. Damn. I need to unbutton another button. Jill's gonna call me out for having my titties out. Ooh. <laughs> That's my job. Yeah, that is your job, Baffy. <laughs> Hi. Ooh. Can't call the handsome girl on the second to last day of Pride Month. I'm already just, like drenched in sweat right now because it's hot in here. Damn. 
got this intense emotional decision I gotta make, and I'm distracted by how how horny it is in the <laughs> Damn. Quite literally, yeah, quite literally, yes. If you're not in the Discord and would like to see some of Baffy's art, Discord. Uh, you have to get, you have to be 18 to get into that channel on the server to see its art. So, just saying. But, if you like the energy, you get more of it after hours. I used to want to be a, um, I gotta start labeling the streams for being 18 plus at this point. So, yeah, at first I was like, you know, whatever, but I'm like, I gotta be unabashedly me. And I'm just a gremlin, and my community is full of gremlins, so... Um, that's where all the good stuff happens, is the Discord. It's been a little quiet just because I've been tired. Capitalism makes it very hard. Yes, it's very good at finding pronouns, yes. You have a request, it'll find it for you. Okay. Sex growth. <laughs> You know where to go. Okay. What is our answer here? Are we gonna lie and tell them that that we're compatible? We're gonna say sorta and tell them that we're neutral compatible. We're gonna say I don't know. I feel like that one's the worst answer. That's the coward answer. Sorta is the right answer. Okay. Okay. We are shitty at lying. Honestly, sorta. Sorta. Yeah. Apparently, they aren't the most compatible in comparison to other signs. Hmm. But I have read that in some cases, Aries and Pisces can become stolen. <gasps> are they going to become Warriors? That's just as good as being in the Red Quadrant. Just saying. If they work at it. I was just wondering, but you know. I think astrology is bullshit. Hi, my bad cookie! I think we get along pretty good. Me too. Yeah, so... I was thinking we should team up again. Or, I mean... Not on school projects, but... Obviously, since we failed at that, I mean, like... I'd like to hang out again. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah so, I, I mean, me too. My mom put Vaseline on my bowl. Yeah! I love when you do that. Yeah! <laughs> It makes me laugh. Oh man. So I feel so feel free to swing by my place whenever I'll probably be there. Or, you know, just call. Um sure, Taylor. Cool. Guess I'll head off now. I wonder if I can run this game without impressing anybody. Just being like, like choosing all the bad options and then we get to the end and we don't get any dates. See you around. Totally. Bro, we did it. Maybe I was just imagining it. I was probably really sleep deprived, but... I swear, I thought I saw a new spring in his step as he left the hallway. Finally, I had friends. All visual novels have bad endings, yeah. Friends that wanted to hang out with me and do cool stuff outside of school. Maybe just maybe a new crush. Bro, we already had a crush on him. Damn. The sleepover! <gasps> the sleepover! Handful boyfriend, if you fail to impress anyone at all, you are killed with. <gasps> oh! That's not good. I kind of want to try that then. But Handful boyfriend reminds me of somebody. Damn! The night is young. Do we want to play uh, another game while we're here? Now, why does the government care about pigeon love, pigeon love lives? Yeah, right. Yeah, would not be a good time to dive into in the rest of the episodes. That's full boyfriend. Is that kind of game? You're so right. Turns out that yes, they do care about it. So, friends, are we out here? interested in raiding out or 
playing a little Jackbox. Birds work for the bourgeoisie. Yeah. Not fair. We play a little Jackbox, we can raid out, whatever you guys decide you want. We're on a poll if you want. Or show of hands. Either one is fine. Um, you ever played Handful Boyfriend? Because, uh, it's very emotional. It's a very emotional game. Lots of stuff happening. I don't know, I know. What did I miss? Oh! Okay, so... We, um... Where did you leave? Did you leave when we were at, at our... At the... I think you left when we were doing our studying. Um... At the end of the study session, we talked to Taylor and we we're like, oh yeah, um, I've had crushes on people before, I'm a little awkward, and then he came over, and we, we, he came over to us at our locker the next day, it was like, hey, if you want to team up again, like not on school stuff, let's do it. And so, yeah, he wants to hang out with us some more, so, um, yay! Hang with, with lovely Miss Kelly watching your stream, so don't, I won't be chatting, but I want to say I love you. Thank you, Hoey! Have fun with Kelly! I love you guys, I really appreciate you. So now we're deciding whether or not we want to raid off or play a game, but... Daffy and Nana are talking about how to fool boyfriend. Oh yeah, he touched our hand and looked deep in our eyes because we we put a we put a, a tape. Jack, Jackbox sounds fun. Does anybody else want to do Jackbox? Me and Mothman can't play Jackbox together. Um, we do a round of t-shirts. I like t-shirts. TKO. Yeah! Okay, we'll do a round of TKO then. Alright, cool. Let me load this sucker up. I don't know why it's fighting for its life. Okay. Um, let me just... Beep. Uh, get. Beep. Let me load up my drawing tablet. Yes! Art people, get your tablets ready. Game capture. Yes. It's so tiny. What the two heck? Okay, let me put that over there. Pull up. Back box. On TV. Get my tablet. Uh, um. Get your artists get ready to rumble. I'm really good at transitions, I swear. Okay. I'm serious about it. Okay. The code is Z J L S. <laughs> Prawn dealer. <laughs> you guys are funny. Is Orville joining us? Oops. Let me turn on my light. Yes, your light is on. I'm sweating. Just the four of us or anybody else want to join? Wait, oh, yeah, hold on. Okay. I bet Orville's got to turn on his fossil. Toaster. Oh no. Give it a minute, yeah. Talk about stuff. 
tomorrow we're playing a new game. One that Nana I saw having fun playing, and I was like, shit, I want to play a fun game. It looked like they were having the time of their life. So I was like, cool. It's a game called Just Die Already. And it's about killing old people in comedic slapstick ways. So. Uh, yeah, Mothman took the bunny. You both can't be bunnies. Maybe I should start taking the fish instead of the crow. I take the crow every time. Do you have? I have the game. I just need to download it. Do I have a name? No. I do not have a name yet. Okay. DM it to me. Okay. Yeah, DM, DM me the, the name and I'll be like, wow, this is so funny. Because if you write it down, I won't forget. Welcome to TKO. I am the tournament master, and I'm currently I always play as the bird. For a morally corruptible henchman. Three years experience preferred. Once every hundred years, I assemble the greatest t-shirt fighters from around the globe to do battle on t-shirt island. And sometimes I get bored and do it sooner with whoever's around. Rawr. Boogie. Welcome to okay, what am I gonna draw? I know what I'm gonna draw. Use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw anything that pleases you. If you need an idea, use the suggestion button. I promise I'm not judging you yet. It's time for your first drawing right now. Need a reference. Okay, I got a reference. Sometimes I get way too into this. Oh good, 78 seconds. I got nervous. I was like, oh no. I put too much effort into making this look good. This is good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I get too into this. Make haste before time runs out. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. Go. Six seconds. Orville, go. Orville, go. Shit. Orville. Aww. Decent enough, but a bit traditional. Uh, this time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the fucking bottom. lag. Begin drawing two. Remember, we're on stream, guys. We're on stream. You draw something appropriate. It's okay, Orville.
Okay. You can do it, Orville. I believe in you. Okay, it's on you, Bathy. Good thing we draw tons of photos, so remember, TOS appropriate. Nothing horrifying. It will get me deleted. <laughs> Excellent. Now really get nuts with this last one. Begin. Nuts? Okay. The more it says I apologize, the more I'm scared. Short, hurry up and finish okay. Put a lot of effort into that one. Ooh. Good, good. Pretty good. Okay, just for the first one? Okay. Last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Okay. Something short and snappy like you might see on a t-shirt. Okay. And don't let hubris consume you. Use a suggestion if you need one. Go. I'm full of hubris. Logan's coming. Okay. Yeah, you really dug deep that time. I'm smart. Okay. Your training is complete. Now point your eyes at your device. <laughs> the fates have blessed you. These are good. Pictures and slogans. Select one of each to create your t-shirt champion. I don't want to pressure you, but a lot is riding on this. This is a good shirt. Only seven pretty low. Yeah, Nana is usually very prolific with this game. Whoever drew a cute squid, I love you. All the artists are here. Okay. It's chaos time, kids. Let's go. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one. 
<laughs> Yo! I can't choose! I would actually wear that Garfield shirt. That likeness is uncanny. <laughs> I I need that Garfield shirt. Nice. Wow. A new challenger appears. This shirt is twitched. That is such a good drawing. It's dynamic. Like there's action lines. It's a scene. It's got character design. He's got big nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a new challenger appears. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder who drew that one. <laughs> Have you done your French lesson? No, I haven't actually. I need to do my French lesson after this. I think I'm still top of the leaderboard right now. Last time I left off. You can't get better than that. It's topical. <laughs> oh no. That's a good drawing. It's applicable to what we said yesterday. Am I top of the leaderboard? I need to know. Yeah, I'm still in the lead. Okay. Winners. I wonder what we're having for winner. Okay. It's drawing time, kids. One new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Break out that killer material you've been sitting on, probably. Go. Okay. You ever just like have a moment where you're like thinking your idol and you're like, man, I need to draw this in T-shirt island. Okay, there we go. 30 seconds left, guys. Okay, that'll be like 20 seconds, though, for those in the back. Because, you know, y'all are in different states and not across the hallway. Fucking lag, as we always say. Careful, SpongeBob. Furry SpongeBob. To expire, you may want to finish up. That's an ad at Orville. Okay. Whew. I get nervous for him. Start writing.
Time goes short. Hurry up and finish already. Okay. The second gauntlet is at hand, and the ethereal algebra of chance has redistributed your drawings and slogans. These are great. Your new shirt design now. Yeah. You guys are so talented. These are great drawings. Obviously. Duh. Damn. I didn't want to vote for the pee pee. Yeah, it's a spaceship, my bad. Yeah. Be nice to me, I'll kiss you. This drawing is beautiful. Wait, you could change the pen thickness? How did I not know that? I've been making it so hard on myself this whole time. Shit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh no, it works so well together. That's a really well drawn fight. You know, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna get an RSVP. And whoever RSVPs gets a shirt. I kinda have to at this point. Like, I wonder how long they stay on the servers. The final gauntlet is here, and only the best shirts from the previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Okay. Shit. Versus. <laughs> Fight for me, baby. Fight. It's the same joke. Yeah, it will be that shirt. I'm saying, I will buy those shirts for those who are SVP. Two sides of the same shirt. Man, all this art is making me hungry. Maybe it's just front and back. Yeah, maybe I'll make them manually. I'll like rip the pictures out. Mm. Why sniff sniff? Sip is snapchatting me. I'm right here, baby. Okay. 
Kids! A quote and art by me on Baffy's shirt, and a quote and art by it on my shirt. Oh no! Oh no! It's shirts like this one that remind me why I do what I do. Good job, Wormel, you won! <laughs> I love these shirts, thank you. Okie dokie, why'd that go away? GG, kids. Okay, let's find someone to raid off to. You are all fun people, and I love you, okay? Any moment, y'all, make me smile. Let's see who's live. Oh, right! Um, Prius is doing a charity stream. It's, a uh, they're, they're doing a 12-hour charity stream for the Trevor Project. So, Drive with the Grim Reaper and the quote were both by me. Damn! Yeah, you can actually buy these shirts. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, they're only 20 bucks, so like, I'm gonna save up for BubbaCon and buy anyone who shows up one of those. Um, okay. Or I'll make it an incentive. I don't know. It's a lot of money if like 20 people show up. I doubt 20 people will show up. If five people show up, I'm cool with spending. I'm cool with spending $100 for five shirts. <laughs> Yeah, plus shipping. I don't know. Or you can buy your own, and then we'll all just show up in matching shirts. So, anyway, Prius is raising money doing a 12 hour birthday stream, I think birthday, to raise money for the Trevor Project. So, playing some Pokemon Unite. Uh, if you had fun doing this, we're gonna play more of this next week. Thank you. Fantastic! Damn! I love you. Buy a bunch of shirts and just sew the. F yeah, you know what? It'd be cheaper if I made them myself. You're right. I'm artistic and funny. So I'll just go to the store and buy the $5 t shirts and then draw those pictures on there myself. So. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my announcement was this I have a video. It was a really cool video. I'm going to post it on Twitter in a minute. So. Head to Twitter, retweet it, be like, LMAO, this is so funny. But, hey, House Kitchen, it's coming! July 9th! I'm fucking excited! Hell yeah! Hope you're excited. So, anyway. Uh, we'll be playing this again next week. Not this. Uh, we'll be playing more, more Raptor Boyfriend next week. Covered vinyl cutouts. I don't have a cricket machine. Unless you do. In that case, hi. Wanna help? Um. So yeah. But we can talk about this later in Artist Alley or Gym Chat, whatever. So anyway, we will play more of this next week. We gotta see how our relationship with Taylor Talto is going to span. I'm pretty excited. So. Tomorrow we're playing Just Die Already, and we're gonna have some slapstick death on our hands. And I bet it's gonna be very funny. I do not, but you can use an X-Acto knife. Oh my god, you're right, I could. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out indeed. No dying. It's a game about death. But okay. Sure. Anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some fun deaths. Say hi to Prius. And if you did not hear it yet today, please remember that I love you. At least someone in this world loves you, and that's me. So, love you guys. Bye!